So we're at week four of the Winter Short Track Series, and we have a massive amount of content, so we're going to get right into it. If you remember week one, we watched a young man take a hard spill in the juniors category, and we've kept up with him the entire series. His name is Gabe. Gabe is a phenomenal cyclist, but Gabe also runs track for A.L. Brown High School. Mm -hmm was just at state and uh, team come in 12th yep. in the 4x800. Kudos to this guy, he has a YouTube channel, link in the description, so bravo Gabe. And now moving on to the women's category, these ladies are not disappointing. They are throwing it down week after week and Lady Lightning is sweeping the field. We cannot wait to watch her next year when she moves up a category because she will be a top contender for sure. And Tina and Julie were battling it out and Tina took second with Julie in third. Now look, I know you're not supposed to ask women their age, but we met Miss Cynthia Boucher. She is part of the Dirt Divas and she is 63 years old. Oh, today watching Cynthia was just it was so freaking phenomenal. Like seriously, she put in a massive effort. I've been on bikes since I was a kid, but I've been riding mountain bikes for 10 years. This is a fantastic, empowering sport for women. Mountain biking is in itself and racing is just pure fun. At the Suffer Club, one are just so <laughs> proud of you. Like, like I hope when I am close to your age, I'm still hammering as hard as you are. And so bravo, Cynthia. Just don't sit down. Cynthia, thank you for taking the time to talk with us. And now we're going to get into my race. If you've been following along, I ran the Fellowship of the Idiots the day before this race. And we're going to see how long my legs will last. Men's 19 to 39 category with one 13-year-old uh, puts us all to shame. These guys are going to put in a lot of work today. My goal today is not to get lapped. And that's his goal is to lap me. So yeah, we'll see who's who wins. So I knew that my legs were going to be hollow after running 19.7 miles yesterday, but they weren't. My legs never faded throughout the whole time of the race. I ran the fastest laps I've ever done, and I ran 10 laps instead of 9 laps. But I think what kept driving me is this battle with Stathis. And I got that dollar hand up. Stathi said that his legs were fading at the beginning of the ride, but he came alive around lap six. There he goes. There he is. I knew he was in there. I was able to catch him on the gravel and the pavement, but man, his bike control through the trail at the end of the race was outstanding, and I just couldn't keep up. This is Stathi's first season at the Winter Short Track Series, and he is throwing down the gauntlet. Top contender week after week. Today, this guy, Stathi, threw it down like me and him battled back and forth. Bravo, dude. Bravo. I, wanted to get I did it. I didn't get left. And I finished eighth. I did the best I've ever done. Every lap was in the four minutes, and that's like bonkers for me. I did 10 laps. I've never done 10 laps out here. Yeah, I didn't get lapped by the top crew, which was really my goal. So I really don't know uh, where that came from, but uh, Tina told me, she said, Aaron, you better pat yourself on the back. So this is my pat on the back. And now that we got that out of the way, week after week, what I look for in a rider is mental strength. And this young man has shown how mentally strong he is. Check this out. The reason why Connor's on this video today is because Connor last week missed a pedal, unclipped, unclipped in the whole shot, yeah. and dropped a chain in the first line of the race. Now, these guys are just throwing down the gauntlet like lap after lap, and he fought back and he nipped the third place guy at the line to get second place. Not only did he unclip, not only did he drop a chain, but he stayed mentally strong enough to get his head back right and fight back in the race. Dude, kudos to you for digging so hard. He raced today in our race, pulled out another second place, just raced in the juniors category as well, and pulled out another second place. And he's from my hometown, so I gotta show love to a gas house boy. And he's repping, who you repping? Bike Law. Bike Law, Bike Law. Seriously, if you don't know about Bike Law, there's a link in the bio great organization yeah. and so bravo to this guy like i said we have a lot of content this week and if you've been out of the winter short track series you've seen this guy taking photos so here with mario for super cycling and so mario's been out here every week shooting photos of the winter short track series 
There's a link in the description to his website where you can find out more about him and his service that he does. And if you've been racing this year, he's got photos you can buy for your Instagram post. His photos are phenomenal. If you got an event and you want him to cover it, There'll be a link in the description for his bio and his information, so check him out. So the Pro-Line Heckle Crew is out hard today. You will get booed really bad if you don't do this line. Seriously, they're out in full force. And that is it for this week's Suffer Club video. Two amazing events. We will see you for week five of the Winter Short Track Series. And big shout out to Mr. Sinclair from The Psychopath making it onto the podium we will see you again very soon.